Hello, it's Penny Ashton here, who is the performer, producer, writer, publicist, costume designer, not made, definitely not made, but sound designer, graphic designer, fashion designer, poster designer. Basically, I'm very tight, the people of Wellington, and uh, I am all of these things for promise and promiscuity that is on at Circa Theatre. Um, and I am currently in Coca-Cola when I'm sort of touring around the place. This is backstage pass. regional touring is you go to these really interesting museums and this one is in Blenheim. Here we are in front of the Beaver Town Barber. You have the dental surgeon here. So I've just managed to have a lunch at a winery. It's not all like this when you're touring. But when you're in Blenheim, I mean you'd be stupid not to. You? Oh, oh my gosh. This is somebody, a man in a... He looked friendly, didn't he? <laughs> You doing? This is what I love about touring in New Zealand and obviously that's what we have to do at this point but I'm not bothered by that at all because I love touring through New Zealand and I've seen some crazy places <laughs> like this place. So this is an example of the sort of outing that I would do. I bloody love it. I love New Zealand. I love traveling through New Zealand. It's so beautiful and you get quirky shit like this. It's just amazing the, the beauty of this country that I've gotten to see along the way and I've always loved the beaches. I tour in Canada quite a lot, and Canada's great, but when you're across the middle, there's, there's no sea, like there's, there's nothing. And when I get to Vancouver and I smell the salt and the sea, it just makes me feel at home because we have an abundance of varied beaches, particularly in New Zealand. We have the white, white sands, we have the black sands, we have, this is like stony sand. It's just stunning, and I just love getting along and seeing it. I've never been to this beach before but I'm performing at the ASB Theatre in Marlborough, so here I am. It's got some absolutely stunning wildflowers. Here at the ASB, I did about a four hour tech, and then into another couple of hours at the Theatre Royal in Nelson, I did a six hour tech. I've done nine hour techs before, and then you just have to pack up and leave the next day, but I don't have to at Circa. I get to stay there for three weeks. It's time to go inside and do a little bit of a cue to cue rehearsal for Olive Copper Bottom, which I'm not doing at Circa. Different show, but you know. Same idea. So now I'm in the bowels of the ASB theatre. This is what it sort of looks like. It's all very industrial and cool. You have to pull the door very hard. And this is um, capital E I hear as well, which is exciting. They have little stars. I don't have a star or anything. It might just says, <laughs> says an actor prepares. It's very, very, it's very sophisticated, very sophisticated. But I'm coming to get my headset microphone and to do some more technical rehearsals. And this is Capital E's truck. I arrive with one suitcase. So that's funny too. Hooray, there is all the people, hooray, that aren't there yet. But there is Jeremy. Say hi, Jeremy, oh. there's Jeremy. And we're about to do a cute to queue because we've been here since 10 o'clock this morning and we'll be here for quite a while yet. So now I have my makeup on and I'm looking a little less um, dead. I have this heater to make everything so much more glamorous. And yeah, I do a vocal warm up for 15 minutes and then the show. I'm gonna ask the beautiful people of Blenheim, do you think that everybody should come and see my shows? Yeah. So, uh, this is a wrap on Blenheim. I'm now gonna drive back to Christchurch because I'm borrowing my parents' car there. That's a Nissan Note, uh, which has gotten me around the country numerous times because I'm far too tired to hire a car. It's gonna be ridiculous. Now I'm at the Meteor Theatre, where you can see that Olive Copperbottom is on tonight, which is in Hamilton. It's a fabulous space. I didn't tell him to say that at all. Not at all. So now Olive Copperbottom is finished. I got here 12 hours ago, and now I'm leaving 12 hours ago. How awesome is it work to work with Penny Ashton? One thing that I also love, I stay with lots of friends, people like the fabulous Andrea Gray's here. I've been staying with them since their kids were little and now they're 17. Oh my God, he's nearly a man. What I love about coming to Hamilton is it's like coming to The Good Life. Remember The Good Life from the 70s? It was the show about sustainable living and Andrea is very scientific and she teaches me about all these things and they have chickens. She got some emergency lockdown chickens, she told me. So that's how these she is. Are the these, are, these are the emergency lockdown, do they have names? No. Oh, so you're not that sentimental. Here we go. So I wouldn't see all these people so often without doing shows around the place. So it's one of my favorite things as well as dropping in, seeing their children grow in stop motion, popping in and eating their food, let's be honest. <laughs>
Hey, this is my house. Oh, there's my husband. It was one of our engagement pictures. And I'm actually here with the ever delightful Laurie Dungy. Here she is. Hello. So Laurie and I have been performing together for 20 years. Good Lord. I know. And actually, um, in 2008 is when we started doing Jane Austen shows. Oh, good Lord. Yes, it was Austen, Austen Found was in 2008. And the first time we ever did it was in Wellington. Oh, that's correct. That's so we did it at Bats Theatre in Wellington. And then it has sparked, um, you know, a 13, 12, 13 years for me yes. of doing Jane Austen shows. And variations on that same show. Indeed, indeed. So what do you love about Jane Austen? It's quite exciting and quite challenging and kind of explore these lovely women that have all these constraints on them, mm. but still hilarious, so funny, heartfelt, having these amazing little journeys and adventures. Jane Austen wrote about what she knew, mm. which is the domestic world of women. And one of the criticisms that has been leveled at her, particularly by men I have found, is that her world is too limited. You know, it's like a soap opera for ladies. And it's yeah. like, well, she wrote about what you only allowed her to know the patriarchy so you know and she did that so well and with proto-feminism and things like that which is exciting and but we bring that to life but also with lots of balls jokes <laughs> yeah lots of, yeah balls jokes balls lots of jokes balls. things yeah. like that we've just performed austin found at the covert theater yes. in auckland and i have a question i'm going to force them to answer do you think they should come and see my solo show promise and promiscuity yeah! Yeah! there we go you should listen to them they're very clever and very beautiful yeah!